right, here we are, Grand Floridian, checking out 1900 Park Fair. Finally. <laughs> Finally made it, so had a couple reservations, a couple cancellations, a couple shifts here life, and there. Life gets life in the happens. way sometimes. We have been trying to come here since opening day. Yep. And it just has not worked out. Here we are finally here. We are super excited to meet Miss Tiana in her Tiana's Bayou Adventure outfit. Try some of her gumbo. Yep, Miss Tiana's gumbo. Yes, very excited for that. Also, Mirabel. Have yep. not met Mirabel yet. I and mean, we saw Aladdin. Aladdin, yes. Aladdin and Cinderella. And Cinderella. It's going to be so. really cool. I'm excited to see the inside. We've never been, so we didn't even get to go to this before the closures. So for us, this is clean slate. We know nothing, right? Yep. So we have high hopes, but we're keeping our expectations sort of at bay. Um, you know, it's a buffet and it's character dining, which means it can kind we'll of go anyway. It can go either way, but <laughs> we're open-minded. I also want to throw out there too, I noticed they have some very good looking cocktails on the menu. For $16, okay. which is significantly less than upstairs yes. at the Enchanted Rose. <laughs> which is surprising. Anyway. Yeah. So we're going to go in. Why don't you guys come along with Let's us? Go. We'll have some dinner. We'll hang out. It's going to be a great time. And we are really excited. It's always a good day when you go to the Grand Parade. presented this lovely wish card, which is really pretty. It's called the Wishmaker's Enchanted Diet. Oh, I really like this. If you notice, it's got a little bit of Aladdin in the corner, Cinderella's glass slipper, Tiana's crown, and Mirabelle's candle. That's really pretty. I like the way they did that. It really goes, goes well together. And of course, all of their autographs in the back. I have noticed though that if you have an autograph book, maybe not here, I'm not sure, but if you have an autograph book, the characters will sign that. When we gave us this, maybe they'll give us a... Maybe. That's for us to write our wish on here for the wish making ceremony. Oh. There's going to be a ceremony. Did you not know? I did not prepare. You better get wishing. Get thinking of what you wish you better for. better get wishing. This is really nice. It's dynamic, high energy, noise level. Right? Yeah. But yeah, nice two top. I like the chair. I like the seat we're at. I love the seat we're at. So I, it's hard to tell, but see how there's a little wall behind Manny? We're like in a little cove directly under whatever the name of that instrument is. I will get the name of it. But we're just beneath that, and it's really cool because I feel like we got a little bit of sound, yes. I don't know, buffer, if you will. Attenuation. Oh my goodness, and wow. look at the portraits. Wow, look. I see a ladder. You can get a plate of gummy worms and gummy bears. Yo, the kid next to us has a whole plate of gummy bears. I really like the portraits. I want to get a better shot of them, but the portraits are all of the moment, I believe, when these characters are making a wish. So that moment in the movie or the, the story where they're making their big wish. Their wish. Yeah, very cool. So let's take a look here. The menu is beautiful. Yeah, so this is the cocktail beer and wine menu. Yes. Because obviously the whole place is a buffet. Look at that, a Chipotle Bloody Mary. They do also have wines. Wine by the and some beer. Beer, hard cider, and beer. hard seltzer, which is great. I love it when they have hard, hard ciders and hard seltzers for all of our gluten-free friends. Oh, and look, they have four different non-alcoholic specialty drinks. Um, what? Oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm a little, I'm really nervous. You're starstruck. I get very You're nervous. Fluttery. Like, I get legit, like, sweating nervous about meeting the characters. So there he is right over there. Mirabelle's right here. Second things out. Where? Mirabelle, oh, there she right is. There. Wow. There she it is. Makes me... She's right over there. Yeah, I don't what know What are you going to say? I don't, why? You're trying to make me feel even more pressure. What's happening? I don't know what, why. I get like... It should be fine as long as you don't mess it up. <laughs> You're terrible. So we gotta oh hurry. Oh my God, there's Tiana, I see her. All right, well let's I hurry. I see Tiana. Okay, starstruck. Look at her. Yeah, there she is, we're over there. Look at her outfit. All right, well I think let's go get our plates. Okay, all right, ah, here we go. All right, so for kids, they have pasta with Parmesan cheese, turkey oh, wow. meatballs, marinara, turkey meatballs. and buttered corn, yum. Oh, here you go, Manny. 
What? Here's the culprit. Oh, there we go. I think that kid wiped this out. <laughs> we have some cocktail sauce, some peel and eat shrimp. Neuromine and mixed greens are also over here. We're here in the cold salads. We have a loaded potato salad, broccoli slaw, fresh fruit, a kale Mediterranean salad, which looks amazing, and a couscous salad featuring diced fruits, almonds, mint, and parsley. Then this I am drooling over, a cheese bar with beautiful focaccia bread. So whipped butter, French rolls, looks like lavash. Beautiful cheeses, but look at this focaccia. Yo, a beautiful carving station for prime rib. For soups, we have a chicken noodle soup. We have Miss Tiana's gumbo, which is the star of the show. Some jasmine rice steamed. They're about to replenish this here, the curry roasted chicken. A beautiful impossible Merquez sausage with zucchini noodles. Yo, that looks amazing. Then we have a roasted garlic sausage with tomatoes, herbs, and braised cabbage, followed by a very creamy looking macaroni and cheese. In addition, they have some green beans. They're about to replenish this also, the baked salmon, and then some glazed carrots. And this is followed by mashed potatoes. And then here are your sauces for the fresh carving station, which is house-made steak sauce, which looks incredible, and au jus, and creamy horseradish, yes please. And here are your beautiful meats. The selections today are carved ham or prime rib. Beautiful. Over here in desserts, we've got toasted coconut cake, chocolate chip cookies, some vanilla cupcakes, and an entire station dedicated to the beauty of the strawberry soup, including fresh strawberries and whipped cream. We have a vanilla crème anglaise, some chocolate lava cakes, followed by a lemon blueberry cheesecake, yes please, a, bra a fudge brownie, the Grand Floridian Financiers, which are gonna be an almond cake if you're not familiar with sea salt caramel and toasted meringue. Lastly, the last kids station, I don't wanna get this little guy, we do have ketchup, barbecue sauce, honey mustard, chicken tenders, pepperoni and cheese pizza. So everything is labeled up above. So I went with the Mediterranean kale salad, I'm starting with salads first, the couscous salad, this um, baked potato salad, a little bit of the broccoli coleslaw, a piece of focaccia, because I mean, look at this focaccia, it's just looked too good, and some cubes of cheese because I can never pass that up. And then the big hit of the day, the thing that we are super excited about is over here at 1900 Park Fair, you can also get what is actually labeled as Miss Tiana's gumbo. It's an andouille sausage and chicken gumbo. It looks absolutely delicious. They just replenished it and it looks incredible. It smells great. Very excited to try that. We did order some cocktails. Those should be out any second. But the characters are coming around. You can see them making their way around. We've got Cinderella, beautiful, beautiful Tiana. Why did our show would brief us on it? She told us how they come through. She was very clear, through. yeah. And she said they're going to come up this way, and that table's empty, which is just empty. So there's nobody on that table right there. So right now, we're about, here she comes. She's going to come right from there, right to us. Also, she said, unlike other character dining, which I think was key, I asked her, because I said, you know, oftentimes you'll get a couple chances, like if you're up there. She said it can take 70 minutes plus, because they are going to spend some time chatting with folks. Yeah. The restaurant is full, and it is large, and, and the tables have a lot of little kids and a lot of folks really excited to get to talk to the characters, including me. I'm a rep. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Yeah, it, it does appear that it's going to be sort of like one and then maybe you get a five minute break and then the next, which could be nice because then you have time to eat and kind of breathe before they're going to come again. I, well, I mean, she literally, I don't want a mouthful of food when she walks up. Hey, you know how nervous I get. So this is my gorgeous spicy Paloma. And it's a short rocks glass. I'm very excited about very this. 
looks great. And then yours was called a gold rush, is that correct? Look at that yeah, little basically a bit of honey on there. Honey based gold fashion. Really beautiful with that little bit of the honeycomb. I'm excited honey, to try uh, these. Yeah. It's spicy, but it's good in the drinks. Oh, it's really it's good. spicy otherwise. It's got chili bitters, yeah. grapefruit juice, tequila, and lime, I think. It has the tahini. So it's got the tahini on the rim. Wow. They loaded up the tahini on here. And it's I very, very tell. good. This is terrific. Nice. It's a little sweet for, compared to like if I made it myself for myself because I really try to stay away from any of the sweets in my drinks. However, it's not overly sweet. I think that in general, it's a perfect, it's done really, really well for the larger audience of people. So for me, it's not too sweet, but for other folks, it won't be not sweet enough. Does that make sense? Yep. Sounds good. Okay, that's a good, that's a good drink. You really taste the honey coming through and the woodiness of the bourbon. Oh, oh nice. nice. It's, it's very well balanced. Actually, light, light on the bourbon. I don't taste much bourbon. Okay. Wood, but very light on the bourbon. Okay. Yeah, a little more bourbon, but still, it's going to be balanced, good honey. Yeah. Lemon. Perfect. It's like a honey old fashioned. Hello, sorry to put this on you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, a little Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. That's a compliment. You look pretty amazing yourself. Yeah, just a little something. Oh, really? It's pretty old. We wanted to hear about how Abu's doing. We haven't okay. seen him in a little while. You know, he's back in the kitchen and he's uh, helping in the kitchen. Oh. oh you know, he has a new self-assigned job. It's called, bear with me, it's called food testing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So he, he takes that seriously? There. Yeah, he takes it very seriously. It's like stealing without stealing. Okay. Oh, stealing okay. without stealing. Yeah. I like that. When you give it a title, yeah. it's no longer stealing. Exactly. He's a food tester, not a food... Thief or yeah. taker, yeah. Better yeah. words. It's so funny. Along well with Raja? Oh, he's getting along with well with Raja. You know, sometimes Raja just tolerates a boo. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because, you know, Raja could be sleeping and then a boo could just be pulling on his tail and trying to wake him up. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't pull on a sleeping tiger's tail if I were you. No. I No. But again, Raja's nice. And if you're thinking of ever having a monkey or a tiger, don't tell a boo. I definitely recommend Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Again, I didn't say anything. Okay, we, I'm it's not going to tell. He hears it, it's not from us. No. We didn't have anything to do with it. We would never, ever. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm great. I'm fantastic. All right. Are you, are you enjoying the food? Absolutely. Oh, it's so okay. delicious. So I was thinking of maybe getting one of these recipes and then adding it to my mom's healing recipe. Okay. So, so which one would you, would you choose that you think that we would add some healing recipes. Uh, I think I would do the gumbo. Yeah, I would say the gumbo. Yeah. I think that most people would enjoy the gumbo the also. A it's a little bit of like a crossover. I like that. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Yeah, I that love sounds that. good. I'm working on it. I'll be the taste tester. Okay. So all right. Yeah. So I'll just taste, I'll just try it all the time. Try it all out. Sure let us know. Yes. You'll be feeling fantastic. I know. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Right? My sister, Issa, she's been working on some practice. So I've been asking her, well, what else can you do? And so she made this beautiful little practice with some flowers on top of it. But she's still working on the flowers, too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and nice. And my sister, Lisa, the donkeys keep getting out. But I, I, I fixed the game. Oh, good. Hopefully they don't get out as often. But I think the dogs are the ones that break it. Because they, they, I think they like to play a little they game. They get pretty they like smart. They're pretty I smart. I think they like to play a little game of seeing how many she can stack on top. Yeah. I think I have enough I was going to ask if she's doing a good job of sort of, you know, working on balance. Yes. And like keeping things so after she, after the donkeys have their fun little game with her, they, they like to bring her a little glass of lemonade. Yes. And I know, I know we don't talk about him, but Bruno is one of our favorite. How's, how's Bruno, if you can talk about him? Oh, okay, so, it was a bit of a misunderstanding. Right, right. Everyone thought they were a bit scary. They're not that scary. But I we like can talk it. about him. We I like Bruno. Yes, now that he's out of the walls and everything, 
big, he's back in the year gone, so he has a lot of catching up to do. He does. Good. So, you know, we can always talk about him. All right. I, That's I, good I, to know. I have a burning question that my kids and everybody wants to know. Okay. His rap friends, yeah. are they still putting on some shows? Do you guys get to go and see some we shows? We have the season finale coming up. Oh, my god. Oh, wow. We do. Are so, you kidding me? I, I know. <laughs> so you'll have to come over and see it. No, I'm just so glad to hear that they're still keeping up their craft. No, no, they're so sweet and they're very talented. Very, very, very talented. talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah amazing. Are. I bet it's a good time with them. They do. <laughs> they have an amazing time together. They do. All the animals. Oh, oh that's good. You can't. She's eight. They're Our server, Sylvia, really great, isn't really she? Really great service. Love the energy and like just yeah. the attitude. She's like super sweet, and enthusiastic, and like 
I feel like she's really playing into part of the whole thing. Well, I think everybody here too, yeah, but yeah, her for sure. Okay, so I stopped recording because um, Dakota, one of the cast members, came up and they did come to verify that we had in fact met all four of the characters, um, which is great. Which is cool. Yeah, I mean, I will tell you, I when we went to Storytellers in California, they will double check that on the one side. But you t you don't get to meet Mickey and Minnie. You only get to meet one or the other. What? I know. But Mickey will be in the front of the restaurant, so you can go up there and meet him. And we went up there to meet him, and they told us no, <laughs> which is in our video. So go watch it. But I really appreciate that they come by and make sure and because who knows if one person at your table was in the restroom or something like that. That would be really a bummer to miss out. So they will send that person back over to you if you missed them. So anyway. Yep. First plate of food. Yeah, so far, so far really good. I'm really, really impressed. I think the gumbo was very good. We had a little discussion about it. I think the gumbo way over at uh, Crystal Palace was a little bit better. So wait, they're both excellent. Are you telling me that Winnie the Pooh makes better gumbo than Miss Tiana? You heard it right here. Yes. Okay. So you gotta I check think out you both. got some fighting words happening over there. It could be. It could be. I may have started something, but yeah, it was still excellent. Very, very good. Maybe Tigger made it. Maybe Tigger. It was pretty spicy. Had a lot of. It was higher on the salt, so that kind of kicked in a lot more flavors, which yeah. I really like. Yeah. Um, but this one was also excellent. Had the chicken, the sausage. Really quality. I uh, waited for like a fresh pot because. When I first went up there, it was like the very, very bottom of the pot, and I was like, ah, I don't want to, I don't want to try that one. Yeah. I'll just mill about and get something else. And sure enough, quickly, you know, they replenished it and got a brand new pot. Yeah. And that's what I got. It was fresh, good, and uh, excellent. Um, the prime rib was excellent. Very, very good. I that really enjoyed it. That's something I was worried about. I've been in a couple carving stations where. They fall a little short. I'm not sure what is going on, but this one hit the mark. It's very good. I'll sample things around. I might get another piece, a small piece again. I did have the curry chicken as well, which was was very well done. It had a curry flavor. I don't think I'm too big of a fan of curry type stuff, um, but it was very good, juicy chicken. So I could see if you like that curry flavor. Yeah. It would be really good for I'm you. I'm impressed that you like that because you're usually not a curry guy. So yeah. I'm in, first off, like, kudos for trying it. And look, you found something new. You actually enjoyed it. So that's yeah, nice. That's yep. really, really good. And then uh, peel and eat shrimp. The secret there was a cocktail sauce and you get horseradish sauce yeah, from, over. From, the, from the carving station. You mix it in. That was good. That was very good. And then I did fall for the trap of the focaccia bread. It's a trap. It's a trap. But it's good. But, uh, it, was, it was very, very good. I also had a piece of the sausage, which was very good. Really? I was, yeah. I'm was. i going up for the hot side next, yeah. and I, I, I had I, my eye on it. Not a big sausage, sausage person, good. but it looked interesting. Yeah, it was very good. I knew you liked the prime rib because you said immediately you were going to get some more, or yeah. you were thinking about getting more, and that's really great. I mean, that's really the star player on the whole buffet for you. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so far, so good, I oh, think. Yeah. Also, something I've never had before was the loaded potato salad. Yeah, that's good, right? Which is really good. I had that, too. I mean, it was great. Looks good, sounds good, was good. <laughs> okay, so, I just got the cold side this time. Got some focaccia, very good. The shining star of that plate was actually the one I got the least amount of because I was just like, I'll just get it to taste. And that was the broccoli coleslaw. That was absolutely delicious. The couscous salad was okay. It fell a little flat. It didn't have any real flavor going on for it. Um, the, like Manny said, that baked potato salad was delicious. Really good, nice creaminess to it that wasn't too thin. It was nice and thick. A bacon, cheese, little chives on there, I believe. It was really, really nice. And then, what else did I have on my plate? Uh, oh, the Mediterranean the kale. kale salad. Very good. Definitely salty. I felt like it had kind of gone a little salty. But Manny pointed out that that flavor was really reminiscent of like a Kalamata olive. 
and then it like changed my brain on it all the way, all the way around. It was very, very good, which makes sense because it is a Mediterranean salad. So that was good. It was nice. The things that I appreciated about it was a, med a kale salad, Mediterranean kale salad, very different, not something you see typically on a buffet. And the focaccia, again, one that you just don't see all the time on a buffet. So I, I was appreciating even on the cold side that there were some things that were unique and different that made me want to try them. It was not um, run of the mill, if you will. I felt like I was getting something that someone put some thought into creating. And on a buffet, that's not always the case. And today, so far, so good. Now we're going to go. I'm going to have the hot side. I don't know what Manny's going to do. I think he's I just going to go hang out with the prime rib. I'm going to go eat some more prime rib. Maybe uh, get some more of that man catching focaccia. <laughs> yeah. Some of that man catching focaccia. <laughs> All right. This time I got oh, wow. a bit of the creamy mac and cheese. A little tiny bit of um, mashed potatoes. I went a little crazy with the horseradish on the prime rib. But let's be real, the only reason I wanted it is for the horseradish. I got buttered corn, a piece of salmon. Really nice. All right. So I went back, got some prime rib. Also got some ham with the crackling, which looks good. Got a little bit of the sausage again, so I'll give Carrie some of that. A little bit of the mac and cheese. And then Carrie was talking about that broccoli slaw. So I got a bite of that. And then I did have a bite of her kale salad, and that was super delicious so I got a tiny little dollop of there just to be respectful you know get a little bit of greens you always have to have some greens so that's my green all right round so two. round two very good I tried the uh, broccoli slaw that Carrie was talking about very good and I, I got a little bit of the greens so some of that kale excellent and uh, the ham was very good I was surprised it was very tender so we're talking about it. it's not a spiral cut ham, so it's a roast ham, and they're carving it right there, so it's like fresh and tender. Yeah. It's quite good. Quite good. I did try the mac and cheese as well, which was super good quality mac and cheese. It wasn't like oily or runny. It was a very good consistency. It tasted like a thick Velveeta mac and cheese, which is good. You can't go wrong with that. Good, good round too. And. Prime rib, again. More prime rib, baby. Still good. Still good. Still good. All right, all right. So I'm curious to see what you thought about it. This was your first kind of hot plate, if you will. As you saw, I did a little bit of the salmon. I did some prime rib, very much out of my wheelhouse, but I had it. It was very, very good. I love that horseradish sauce. Really, really. I did put up a bit too much, but was it's almost never too much, honestly. Um, I had the buttered corn from over in the kids' section. That is like, um, you know how like you go to like maybe like a, I guess it's kind of like just how you go to a buffet and the corn is just, it was really mushy. It was, it didn't hold up as corn and butter, you know what I mean? It just kind of mushed together. So that was a disappointment. All right, so um, you're staying, stay away from the kids menu. That's the only thing I have. If you're an adult. I love buttered corn, so I was really excited to try that. And it didn't, it, it was kind of just meh. It really didn't hit at all. The salmon. So the salmon, I did, there was a fresh tray up there. Uh, it wasn't, it was about halfway empty. I went ahead and got a piece. I chose a thick piece so it wasn't too dry. And I scooped, there's a beautiful sauce in there. I, it has a spoon. So you just scoop some of the sauce and drizzle it over it. Did that. The flavor on that salmon and that sauce was absolutely delicious. I really, really like that a lot. It was a little bit dry, but it had a tenderness to it still. It had a beautiful salmon flavor that wasn't nasty or vanish. And then the sauce was still delicious on it. I gave Manny a bite. And it was, it was surprisingly good, right? Yeah, it was good. And I, I felt it's the exact same way. It's a little bit dry, but yeah. that sauce and the flavors came through very nicely. The mashed potatoes were good. They were a little bit overly thin. Yeah, um, a little soupy. buttery, creamy, reminded me very much of the mashed potatoes um, that you can get over at Crystal Palace. Oh. Some sort of consistency, must be a similar recipe. Um, mac and cheese, super thick, creamy. So, not dry at all. Uh, this is thick and rich and many, you know, we were saying like, remember Balbita mac and cheese when you were a kid? It doesn't taste like that, but remember how thick and creamy that the cheese was? That's how this was, but it was a white cheese. It was very, very nice. 
the noodles were cooked well too. They weren't mushy. It was really well done. You had a bite of my so of the sausage. Oh, that sausage was really tasty. I'm not. I'm not going to get a whole sausage because I'm just not. I'm, I can't eat that much sausage for some reason. But the bite I had was very, very good. Very well seasoned. Very tender. Really, really nice. Nice cut of sausage. Really well done. So yeah, so far so good. A couple of things that fall a little flat, and a couple of big successes. I feel like with any buffet. What you're gonna have, but honestly, I've been to a lot of restaurants where even the dishes can be that way, so I'm really happy with things. You know, I, I heard somebody compare this to what was it, uh, Golden, like Golden Corral. Corral, but no way, I it's wanna, way better. I want to go to the Golden Corral in their town because the ones in, in New Mexico are not this good, <laughs> so I don't know where they're getting their food, but this right here is, is and maybe they're only eating the kids' food, I don't know, but. Well, it might be it might be a boo back in the kitchen helping out. And you know, things, here's the number one thing to know of any giant movie that you see. They, every restaurant in Disney, every single one of them, is inconsistent. And it's, I mean, okay, Nomad Lounge, I'm going to throw it out there. The least inconsistent of all. It's always so good there. But it's very possible to have just a bad day, you know, to have some things that's not go right. And it can turn your head on, on the whole experience. But... We had a good day, and we're lucky. We still have dessert to come. We did go ahead and order another round of our drinks. Um, that's how much we liked them. So that's yeah, they were lot. very good. Um, we could have gone upstairs to Chandler's, which we love, but um, we were like, you know what? I really like this cocktail. We're here. Um, it's it's perfect. So yeah. Another thing I want to add. Usually when you get a tea top, it's like the kiss of death for comfortable seating because they tend to put two tops like. Boop, 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 boop. I really like our little nook that we have here, and they have several of them. I think there's two or three in this. Yeah, there's a couple in this row here. I don't here. think there's one on the other side. I don't there's think there's, no, there's not there's one on the other side, there's one behind us. That are in this sort of like little row thing. Um, and it's nice, because it, it is, um, I don't feel, I mean, there's people near, but I don't feel like they're right here eating with us. Yeah. It's really nice. They're facing different directions. Anyway, really, so far, I'm very Yeah, happy with very it. good. I'm, yeah. I'm super excited. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Next up, strawberry yeah, That was a win. Let's, let's go. Okay, for dessert, we're doing the Grand Floridian Financier. And then the lemon blueberry cheesecake sounded really good. And we're sharing both of these. And then we each got a little bowl of strawberry soup here. Wasn't sure exactly how to put it together, but I added a couple strawberries. Kind of put the pieces together, see what happens. It smells nice. Oh, does it? Yeah, it smells very strawberry. Mm. And that fresh whipped cream. Yes. The whipped cream looked great, like real fresh. Yep. So, very excited. And then we've got our cocktails coming, so we are, uh, Alright, so first things first. Thank you. Wow. I don't even know how to describe that. Well, I that's your job, like man. I thought it was like a yogurt, but it's not. And then I thought it would be like a melted ice cream, but it's not. I mean, I think there's definitely a yogurt in there somewhere, or cream, but huh. it's very nice. And it's light. Like, oh, wow. It's not okay. heavy, heavy. Like in the world of dessert. Really tasty. Try it. See. So, uh, first I'm going to try just this. It's not like milk and yeah. ice cream. No. And it's not like a breakfast yogurt. And the, and the strawberry does not taste artificial. You know what it reminds me of? What? I forget what they were called, but back in the 80s, we right, used Grandpa. to have. Sorry. <laughs> they used to have these fruit mix. They weren't shakes, but you like added ice and water and milk, and then like this packet of either strawberry or banana, and then you blend them up and you make them. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, I, think I guess it's I pretty think smoothie. Be the closest thing I can say would be like a strawberry smoothie, but yeah. a creamy smoothie. It's very nice. I, I really like it. I think I'm gonna go for this first. This is the lemon blueberry cheesecake. I just love the combination of lemon and blueberry. It's really good cheesecake. I'm getting the juicy cheesecake. Maybe a hint of blueberry. 
but I'm missing lemon altogether. And it's warm. I wasn't expecting oh, it's warm? it to be warm. I thought it would be cold. But, so that just threw me off. And huh. usually when things are warm, you, you can taste the flavors even more. Right. So, I don't know, give it a try and see. Hmm. It's very good, but I'm not yeah. getting blueberry lemon. No, very subtle on any other blueberry or lemon flavors in there. Yeah, Just for sure. Strong cheesecake flavor, which is good. I guess you could get a blueberry itself if you want it. Yeah, but you're like dusted with like gold. It's super cute. I, I tell you what, it's a really good cheesecake. Yeah. So let's go with the plants here. All right. So this has got that salted caramel, little meringue, toasted meringue, and almond cake. Mm. Wow. Okay. Huh. That was a lot of eyebrow action for yeah. a hump. It's very interesting profile. The texture is a little bit chewier than I expected. The chocolate is a very bitter dark chocolate. But all together, I don't know. I think it's a miss for me. The flavors don't really complement each other. Okay. They kind of clash and compete. I'll, I'll be interested to see what you think. All right, tell me how bad this is, how bad my comparison is. It tastes like, if you were a kid, it's my grandma's story for you now. Oh, here we go. Do you remember they were either intimates or hostess, the dark chocolate covered donuts that would come in like the little like pack like this, you'd get like Yep, and you could get you could get powdered or dark chocolate. Yeah, the dark chocolate ones. This, is reminiscent of that flavor. It's a very distinct flavor. The cake isn't like a fluffy dry cake. It's more of a dense, moist cake. It's tasty, but it's not for me. I just can't eat stuff that's that rich. It's very rich for me. I, 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 I would go with the cheesecake and by all means, the strawberry, the strawberry soup is Yeah, strawberry the strawberry soup was pretty good. They did have some little mini lava cakes that looked, looked really nice, but again, that's like really rich. And, and that's, that, folks, is why we don't do dessert. <laughs> hey, we're trying. I'm sure. We're doing okay, so they are not doing um, annual pass discounts here for at, probably at least a year. It's just reopened and it's very popular and it makes sense. But we did second round of drinks. I don't try yours. Mine is like strong. <laughs> well, mine was very tasty. Oh, it's very good. Oh, I'm loving it. But I mean, the first one had like, you know, just the perfect balance, you know what I mean? Nice balance of the tequila and stuff. This one um, is even better because it is tequila forward. Unbalanced. It is definitely, and it is delicious. This one is the uh, value of the day. There we go. Found out a little information about the strawberry soup. Turns out it's, it's kind of made similar to a smoothie. And this is what we were told. If you all know different, tell me, but this is what our server explained to us. It is fresh strawberries. There's no artificial flavors of any sort. So it's fresh strawberries, yogurt, cream, and sour cream, all blended together. And that's how you get this delicious strawberry soup. It is very good. But that explains why we were like, we couldn't pinpoint because it wasn't any one of them. It was, it was three different types of creams and blended with really good fresh strawberries. And it's 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 very tasty. But it, it also, because it wasn't thick. Remember I was saying it wasn't thick? But as I'm eating it, I'm like, whoo! Like, it's rich, but not... Not in your face rich. Not it's in your mouth like rich heavy. even. Yeah, I mean, it's got a good creaminess to it, but not after like... The fact, you yeah, sour cream like you're like, whoo, okay, I'm cream. getting really full from this. I'm gonna say start with a small one because it is richer than you think. I, I will think about this, like you know how um, there are things around the parks, like we've been talking about this a lot between Manny and I, like those iconic things, you know? I think the strawberry soup, you know? I mean, it, we aren't the ones deciding this. We're just discovering what's already iconic and everybody else knows about, so mind you. But yeah, even at, having tasted it, I can see why it's one of those things like, um, you will always associate with Grand Floridian. Also iconic, Spicy Paloma number two. Oh, yo, yo, she's, she's, she's coming for me. <laughs> she is like, uh, not playing. This is a good drink. We did it. We, we did finally it. made it to 1900 Park Fair. Yep. What a juggling act. And worth been. the wait.
I think it was really tasty. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I mean, there were some things that were misses, but nothing major. The major oh, things yeah. that you look forward to, like the prime rib, yeah. the strawberry yeah, soup. Yeah, that was good. The ham. The ham. A majority of all the sides were very, very tasty and very, very good. More importantly, though, the staff was fabulous in there. From the folks who were helping to take pictures to the service all together. Um, even the guy who was carving the meat in the meat station was a hoot and very like enthusiastic and fun yeah. about their jobs. Like yep. nothing in there He knew felt... everything. Hey, where are you from? Chicago. Oh, Windy City. Hey, where are you from? Hey. Isn't that? He knew when you say New Mexico and somebody says the land of enchantment, you're like, oh, I'm wow. impressed because most people don't. That guy knows his stuff. Trivia, that's where our name comes from, <laughs> Enchanted Nomads, because we are from the land of enchantment. Anyway, so I, I'm going to say overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised yep. by how much I did. I was pleasantly surprised. Everything was really good. I really enjoyed the characters too. I thought they were great. Standouts for me were definitely Merida was great. Uh, um, Aladdin and of course Miss Tiana. Mirabelle? Okay. They were all really wonderful. Um, but I really, we had great interactions. Something to note though, unlike other restaurants, once you've seen them, they've kind of checked off your table yep. and they're not going to come back to your table necessarily. No if more prints for you. If it's busy. So, um, the people who were coming in and being seated as we left, the restaurant was much less busy, so maybe they will come back around. But we were seated at 6.50, um, and it was wonderful. Yeah, it, was it was a full restaurant, and it took up pretty much the bulk of the time we were there to get just around the restaurant one time. Yeah. They were great. Really, really fun. And unlike Acker Shoes, where I felt like they had about 45 seconds to two minutes, not even. 45 seconds to a minute and a half to actually talk Engage to us. Engage and talk with you. I feel like we got to oh, talk they, with some of them chatty. for a good amount of time. And I never felt like they were trying to get away from us. You know? Right. Um, I mean, we tried Cinderella to Cinderella maybe a little bit. But yeah, I think so. Cinderella a bit. But again, she was kind you of the very last is. one in the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> the last kidding. one in the rotation. She was great. Don't, yeah. she's gonna, she was very she good. She was lovely. She was awesome. Yeah, like I, I really appreciated that because that was the thing I was nervous about is when we went to Acker Shoes, I mean, to, to some extent, like they wouldn't even, I shouldn't say all of them, but a, a good number of them wouldn't even answer, you know, they would kind of just give a really short answer and be like, like would you like to take a script? picture? Would you like to make a portrait? You know, like that's Annabelle's joke now. Would you like to make a portrait? Like when she wants to cut me off because... I mean, I think we asked one or two questions and they were... And they were like, yeah, okay. now we're yeah, done. This was not that way, so I felt like this was lovely. The <coughs> no, I kids, missed that one. Yeah, you didn't get to go to after shoes. Nope. Oh, yeah. The I faces mean, light up. They thoroughly enjoy... I teared up at one point. Oh, and I know. They're not even my kids. <laughs> but it was just that look. I mean, oh, I'm getting goose. I'm going to cry just thinking about it. But that, the look in their eyes of pure bliss and disbelief. And magic. I can't imagine what that must feel like for the characters to see that much love in a child's face. So, really cool. Great food, great service. I'm not. I mean, I have no complaints. I did not yeah, feel like it fell short of any of my expectations. Um, yeah. So, I recommend check it yeah, out check if you're it into out. it. Have a great time too. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I hope you had as much fun yep. as we did. And if you check this place out, let us know. Let us know your thoughts. What did you like? What didn't you like? Did you have a great time with the characters? Ask for Miss Sylvia if, if she's available because she was lovely. Anyway, thank you guys. We, we love you all. We hope that you enjoyed this as much as we did. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye. Have a good one.